92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean and Sue, with you on a brand new Wednesday morning. Smack to have in the middle of your week, 839, 55 degrees. And Sue, we're talking about what they're calling Field of Dreams here in Ocean County in Toms River. Joining us right now, we have Christian Kane, and we also have Jim DeAngelis, our friend from the Lakewood Blue Claws as well. So we're going to start with Christian, and we're going to talk about this project, Field of Dreams, which we're reading about this morning on our website, hearing about on the radio. Christian, good morning. Tell us about Hi, this Christian. project you're doing. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate it for having me in. Tell us the heart behind it. It's amazing. Uh, it's, uh, you know, listen, um, I was here uh, you know, with my son, you know, about three, four years ago uh, in regards to talking about Children's Hospital. Um, the story basically is five years ago, I was in a car accident uh, with my then 19-month-old son, uh, Gavin. And basically, he was, he was uh, you know, your, your typical child. And then the car accident basically took everything away from him. Um, five years now, it's, he's, he's, he's doing well. Uh, he goes to kindergarten at Silver Bay. Oh, good. Um, good. yeah, he's doing great. Excellent. But, uh, we still go to therapy at the Children's Hospital and you realize that Gavin's not the only one who has a special need. Um, you know, you, you go into the therapy room and there's, there's, there's hundreds of kids that come in and out and you realize that, you know, these, these, these kids have nowhere to go, uh, to be typical. Uh, we know mm-hmm. we go to you know, different parks and different, you know, Great Adventure and Sesame Street Place. And, you know, it, it's hard to, a kid with a special need to get him in and out of rides or, or you know, for a parent to just sit back and, and watch, you know, your son or your daughter do something that every other kid can do. Uh, that's just not the case for Gavin and the kids at Children's Hospital. So our goal is to build a field of dreams where basically moms and dads can drop off their child, uh, watch them play a two-inning baseball game, then go from there go play at a special needs playground that is built for kids with special needs, you know, um, wow. then go to the snack shack and get something to eat for free, ice cream, you know, subs, whatever the case might be. Mom and dad could sit with them at our pavilion and, and basically relax, have a picnic. And then from there, go play a nine hole miniature golf game, you know, uh, w- with a special needs, you know, golf course. Amazing. So the goal yeah. is, is uh, to allow parents to be able to see their son or daughter just be typical. Just be for four or five hours. Do something that maybe they thought never would be able to uh, come to fruition. And I was now, say, without that's what this, we're doing. without this field, you know, obviously they may not be able to go to a ballpark and play. Yeah, you know, like example is you know different challenger divisions. You know, are, you know, in different little leagues. The problem is, is that um, they, they they do it on dirt or in the outfield, mm-hmm. and Gavin uses a walker. Other people use wheelchairs, and you can't oh, maneuver yeah. around there. You know, so. For Gavin to be in a challenge division, he has to go to all the way down in South Jersey, which is in Upsecon, about an hour and 15 minutes away, to play in a league on an AstroTurf. And it, there's nothing like this in Monmouth or Ocean County. So this Field of Dreams, even though it's built in Tom's River, is going to be a, for anybody in Monmouth or Ocean County, any little league that wants to get involved mm-hmm. and be able to run their challenger division here at our Amazing. field. And then the, the partner with, partnership with the town. I mean, Mayor Kelleher is ridiculously a great guy. I mean, mm-hmm. ridiculous. And to give me the location right next to the use, to, to partner with the youth services. So now this facility can That's be right used. That's right there on Bay Boulevard. Yeah, right next, mm-hmm. right behind the police station. Mm-hmm. To now partner with the youth services so that this facility, instead of just being used for leagues, just, you know, maybe in the spring and in the fall for six weeks. No, no, no. This thing can be now used 365 days out of the year. The youth services can use it. Any, any organization that wants to come and just use the facility they can use it in the morning, in the afternoon. The goal is we don't want it to just look pretty. We want it to be utilized and have everyone for a, for a while just feel typical. That's Excellent. that's our that's our huge phrase. Feel you can, the dreams. And can Gavin can our, play ball. Gavin can play. We're going to ball it yes. up. We're going to ball it up. And you can go to our website this morning. We have the story up with all kinds of links for more information, how you can get involved and everything. And this is where we bring Jim DeAngelis in from the Lakewood Blue Claws. Jimmy D. Because you have a big event coming up. Obviously, this My goes squeeze. Field of Dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Lakewood Blue Claws, a baseball field for kids. Uh, this is a perfect um, a match for you, and you're going to be having a special night for this. That's right, Sean. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How, how's everybody? Good. Um, the story's not really about me or the Blue Claws. It's about Christian and this, this mm-hmm. dream that he has. And um, when he reached out to me back in January to set up a meeting, of course, I had no idea what it was about, but uh, being involved in many of these projects over the last 17 years, this one was rather special because this is really a story of, of a father's passion for his son, and it really kind of uh, tugged at my heartstrings a little. So we sat down for, well, maybe close to an hour and a half, 
and talked about many different things. This was in early January. And uh, we decided to set up a, a day for Gavin. That's what we're calling it, a day for Gavin, Tom's River Field of Dreams. It'll be on May 22nd at First Energy Park. And uh, Christian told you about a website you can go to to purchase tickets. But uh, during our meeting, we made sure that uh, we gave Christian a lot of leads in the community. And I'll tell you, I want to work for this guy after I retire. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's been amazing, amazing in, in the contacts. I gave him a list of people to reach out to. And he'd stay in touch with me every week. We'd talk about different things. And I'm really impressed with the progress he's made for something that's really needed in Ocean County, and in particular, Tom's River. So, and you know, it takes a community, uh, I, I guess, to put something like this together. So that's what's great about seeing all these different uh, outlets coming together to help out. So it's, a, it's a really a community uh, getting together here to help out. It really is. And we're hoping that his uh, day, a day for Gavin on May 22nd, it's a Monday, will not only raise money for this wonderful project, but also create a lot of awareness, open a lot more doors for mm -hmm. Christian. Um, he's already making progress in many different areas that I never even dreamed of. And um, like I said, when I retire, I'm going to work for this guy. <laughs> He's just truly amazing. So we want to get tickets for the May 22nd. That's a night ball game? That is a 635 start. Very good. And you're taking on Greensboro that night at First Energy Park. So it's a great cause, and it'll be a great night of baseball. And, of course, proceeds helping out to uh, Field of Dreams. Is exactly. excellent. Check it out at blueclaws.com. Now, Christian, anything we can do as a radio station? Um, Just bring awareness. How can we get money for you? What do you need? Okay. Um, f the first thing, it's um, our website is uh, trfieldofdreams.weebly.com. And once again, you can purchase tickets for the game there. Um, okay. You can also buy, you can make donations. You can also buy athletic gear that says Tom's River Field of Dreams. Our goal is to Perfect. get, a, you know, as, as Jim was saying, just make awareness of what's going on. So that's one way. Um, the second thing, um, what I really need for you is this time. Um, mm -hmm. It's, there are two major other facets that will help us really get to where we need to be. Um, the first thing is we need a, I need a concrete supply company in Tom's River or in the surrounding area. Um, I need one inch crushed concrete. It sounds, I need I need black asphalt and poured concrete. I okay. need I need someone hopefully listening out there to know some kind of concrete supply company to kind of donate um, their 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 material. That would be great. Okay. And then the second thing, um, Tammy Millar, uh, who runs the Pine Belt Arena, was gracious enough to give me. A, She's lovely. Great. She gave me. She heard the story. Same thing. How can we help? She basically gave me a day uh, for the Pine Belt Arena and basically said. Listen, whatever you want to do, everything, no fee, no cost, you know, concessions, everything, mm. you know, you just find a talent. So here we go. If anybody's out there, I need a talent. I need somebody, uh, a Darius Rucker, a Jay Leno, uh, <laughs> a comedian, a, a band, uh, you know, Bruce, you out there. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, I need something along those lines. And uh, lastly, any of the, organ any, you know, the companies and uh, organizations around Tom's River uh, who want to just donate or uh, help me out, uh, and once again, Please visit our website. Please give me a, a phone call. Uh, all the information's up there. And lastly, I just want to thank uh, Ocean Orthopedics Associates of Tom's River. They were basically gracious enough to um, take the naming rights of the entire complex, So, uh, wow. which is a big-time donation, and it's really going to help us kick us off. It's going to be a great um, thing. Yeah. It's going to be a great thing. Go to our website because we have the story up there with a with a vision of the field. You've got video pictures. You'll you'll really be able to put your you know wrap yourself mm. around what this is all about with links for more information and everything. And so, like Jim said, stuff. Christian has a passion a passion for his son, and there are so many kids in Ocean County that need this. Once again, give your number, Christian, so people can call with the things you ask. Sure. Uh, once again, website tr field of dreams dot weebly w e e b l y dot com and then uh seven three two nine nine eight three six six seven if you want a little personal touch you can email me at great dad three seven <laughs> at yahoo.com that's right very that's right. good great dad 37 at, at yahoo at yahoo.com <laughs> guys thanks for coming and don't forget the blue claw special night for uh gavin is may 22nd so get your tickets now contact the I blue claws for, for that the field of dreams yeah right? it's gonna be excellent check out the story at wobm.com right now we're gonna head out to the highways and amy salerno is in with a look at what's happening with your wednesday morning commute Hey guys, good morning. On the Garden State Parkway, the delays are northbound between exit.